Minneapolis, the owners of a multi-million dollar mansion and four young children remain unaccounted for. It's now a day and a half after a raging fire swept through that 16,000 square foot waterfront home. Investigators believe the six were inside the home at the time, but they do not know for sure. 11 News I Team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller is live in Annapolis with the new details about the challenges that authorities are facing there. Jane. Donna, so many questions remain unanswered about this fire that fire officials are treating this as a criminal investigation until they know otherwise. The arrival of specialized equipment signaled the challenge for fire crews and investigators. The fire at the once castle like mansion on the water burned so thoroughly yesterday morning, usual efforts to clear debris and find victims aren't enough. The best way to describe it is three floors of a house collapsed into the basement. And investigators say it's unlike any other residential house fire. This house is 16,000 square feet. The construction of the house contained a lot of very heavy materials. We're looking at some steel beams that weigh in the area of seven tons. We need to bring specialized equipment in to do that. The entire 16,000 square feet has collapsed. So we'll be doing an extensive digging operation to get down and try to locate not only the origin of the fire, the cause of the fire, and any of the unaccounted for victims. The house is owned by Don and Sandy Pyle. Don Pyle is an executive with a technology company. The house was a so-called smart house, according to a neighbor, with the security system's cameras trained on the gate. It had no sprinkler system built before they were required. But what about other fire protection devices? The only thing that we know that appeared to work was the initial alarm that was received by our 911 center. Fire protection, beyond that, I can't answer because we haven't gotten that far into the structure itself to determine that. Fire investigators are treating the scene as an active crime scene, not because they have evidence to suggest a crime, but because they have no witness to offer how, where, and why the fire started. A tedious task lies ahead. See, we're going to be talking about days, not hours, to get this done. Neighbors familiar with the Pyle family describe the four children who are unaccounted for as their grandchildren, two sets of cousins. Reporting live tonight from Annapolis, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News. So Jane, thank you.